Hi, um, so I've started playing Marvel, Marvel's Avengers, um, it does have a few optimization issues right now, uh, as you can see, there's a task manager, uh, the CPU usage, I've finally got the graphics card utilising Head for the location on your heart. more resources for the game by enabling hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and you can find that in your display settings in the start menu the settings cog system display scroll to the bottom graphics settings and turn it on you'll need to reboot your system and it will force the graphics card to use more resources for the game the CPU usage however this team will not be easy is to a neutralize. big issue um, it's some a lot of maps are quite badly optimized. Some aren't too bad, um, like the aim hives and whatnot. Um, so right now, um, the GPU scheduling is enabled. Here are my settings. Graphics, all low or off, um, especially the CPU ones. Um, I put level of detail to low but texture quality to medium just to maintain a bit of sharpness so uh, costumes don't appear blurry um, and the next change I'm going to show you is if you see the CPU usage right now it's quite high <coughs> you know look and at the loaded screens it will hit 100% as well there we go boom on 100% not even at any enemies Hurry, yet. <laughs> so, how to combat the high CPU usage is to also go to details and set the affinity. Uh, try four cores. And as you can see, that reduces the CPU usage somewhat. Uh, it will be a little bit extra because I'm streaming um, and capturing the task manager window as well as the game window. Uh, uh, the range is um, between 65 and 70. Team is aware of your presence. Um, be on your guard. I'm not streaming two windows at once, but I hope this helps um, a few players because. Uh, um, my machine meets the recommended specs slightly over. I have an, uh, an uh, Aorus 1080 Ti. Uh, my CPU is quite old, however, it's on par with the recommended CPU that I 7477OK, I think it was. Uh, mine's is i7 uh, 3930OK, uh, overclocked to 3.8, as you can see. Um, it's a very reliable CPU, it's, uh, this is the only game actually uh, I'm having issues like this with, with it. Um, you can also further reduce the CPU affinity um, to further balance it out, um, but when you start removing more, um, to maintain the low CPU usage you'll start to get frame drops. Like look, I'm down at 42 FPS right now. But the CPU is a lot more stable. Oh, oh. See, you picked the wrong ship. It's not really going over eighty percent now. Um, so there's a bit of a trade-off. Uh, the less CPU threads you look to use, uh, the less you've got a bit of a trade-off with frame rate. However, your CPU won't be getting bullied by the game anymore, um, and it certainly won't hit a hundred percent anymore, uh, even if you just set it to 8 threads, 4 cores. Um, there is a chest with gear close for by. maps like this, uh, the ones that aren't that, uh, haven't been very well optimised, sorry, I will eight. use um, pie. Good too. 7 threads, uh, just to maintain it. But as you can see, the CPU, that is a lot more steady. Um, 
but I will go back to eight threads, four core, uh, use a full four cores for like aim hives, essentially like in door maps, any out door maps. Yeah, I'm looking to balance it out. Um, time. Hopefully, um, we're going to see further optimizations. Uh, I do not Don't have. Look directly at the I, I honestly am a little bit baffled by how much of this game is reliant on your CPU. Um, so hopefully they're going to be looking to address a lot of this. Um, and I actually feel sorry for the players that meet the minimum specs, as I fail to see how they're even able to play this game on the lo even on the lowest settings. Um, Don't worry. It's a very Let's just say there's some areas that are quite badly optimised. Um, other than that, the game's actually really, really good. <laughs> I feel Crystal Dynamics have got uh, a fair amount right rather than wrong myself. Um, and Iron Man is absolutely fucking awesome. <laughs> but anyway, I hope these uh, wee tips help you guys get better performance out of this game until Crystal Dynamics uh, just does a few better patches um, for optimization. Personally, I feel they need to get away from a lot of the settings that are um, reliant on the CPU. Uh, like level of detail, you know, um, that should be GPU in my opinion, not CPU. VF VFX quality should be CPU. Um, shadow quality, usually a CPU as well, um, but that's on GPU, so I'm not really got an issue with, with that being switched over. You know, but if that can go into the GPU, then why can't the level of detail? Um, I'm sure the level of detail would help a lot actually if it was the GPU doing that rather than the CPU. Uh, so we'll just have to see how further optimizations go um, and I am anticipating more as I can't see how they can uh, carry on like this to be honest um, lots of people are having issues and I also believe DX12 is responsible for a lot of this high CPU usage um, I get the same in Division 2 although it's nowhere near as bad um, as this in terms of the high usage uh, personally, I feel they should make this DX11 compatible. I think that will solve a lot of the play, uh, the issues players are having. Um, and DX12 has had its problems anyway this year uh, with its updates. The last update caused problems. Um, so yeah. So just to clarify, uh, I'd recommend all set graphics settings. Set them on low. Uh, Edit the CPU affinity and task manager. Make sure you've enabled hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and start menu settings, settings cog, windows settings, display, and right at the bottom, those options, graphic settings to turn that on. And you should get a much more stable uh, CPU usage. Um, you may still get some game freezes, but it shouldn't cause a crash. Like your game shouldn't uh, hang, or the X12 shouldn't crash. Those are the two crashes I've noticed when they crash. It's just a, 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 a hang and the X12. Anything else? No. Um, that should be all. Enjoy. I hope these. Um, make the game a bit more playable for you. Um, there are, how I said, however, um, still some maps are very badly optimised, even um, with implementing these settings. Um, so hopefully they'll fix that. Thank you 